make the good times last. What are these for? My dad's company is testing out this new cell phone they designed, so we each get one. I programmed our numbers into them already. I don't know, it's kind of... Free! <laughs> no way! Right on. Cool! One month of free calls. As much time on the phone as you want. Well, someone is paying for it, and I'm sure your dad expects us to be responsible. Hello, I'm Jude. You don't know me, but we can change that, and it won't cost me a thing. I was born as a small child. Hello? <laughs> Who knew they were so rude in Sweden? Sweden? Jude! Jonesy's been complaining about his hockey skates falling apart, so I'm saving up to buy him a new pair. Got any ideas? What's the occasion? No occasion, just a gift. Nikki, you can't do that! Boys buy us gifts for no reason, not the other way around. Uh, you lost me. Duh. It's Boy Girl 101. Men are the hunters, women get presents. Oops. <laughs> I could use my employee discount. That would save you some money on the skates. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks, Jen. And you could probably double your wages with commissions if you were a little nicer to customers. Uh, there are limits, okay? Even for Jonesy. Caitlin's an expert on sucking up. She can help. Absolutely. Is worth much more than any one man's pride. Wow. All I can say is, wow. I can't believe you wrote a song about yesterday and didn't use Snot Walrus. Agreed. I think it's the best song you've ever written. You should be really proud of yourself, Wyatt. I kind of am. I mean, when I got home, the song just poured out of me. Was it from your nostrils? <laughs> Snot Walrus. <laughs> It was like being humiliated caused this surge of creativity. Maybe we should publicly disgrace you on purpose from now on. Hey, that's a great idea. Uh, that was me. Kidding? I'm not. The band is short a few songs for our new demo. You'd be helping our career. Come on, please. I've never needed an excuse to humiliate you. I'm in. Okay. All right. Fine, but only for the good of the band. Excellent. Come and get me. Jude, why are you calling me? I'm not. Must be a bum call. Bum call? You know, when your bum accidentally speed dials someone. Bum call. Ew! I don't want to talk to anyone's bum. Why? I got a nice bum. Focus, people. What are we going to do to humiliate Wyatt? Do you have a moment to make the world a better place? Sorry, but I'm late for work. That's okay. I'll just check the I don't care box. I didn't say I don't care. I said I was late for work. It'll only take a minute. And it's to help the world. Okay. If it's to help the world, I... Ah! Mm. Uh, Jennifer Masterson. Hello, Jennifer. Let's begin. Question one. How old are you? I'm 16. You're a very smart girl, Jennifer. Oh, <laughs> I do get straight A's. But how is sitting here answering questions going to help the world? Question number two. For the very smart girl. <laughs> <laughs> You wanted help? 
Well, here's your chance. Go earn some commission for Jonesy Skates. Hi, welcome to the khaki barn. I'm Nikki. How can I help you? <gasps> Is Nikki actually trying to sell something? <laughs> I'm looking for a top exactly like this, but not this top. And I want it in pink with long sleeves and a cow neck. So exactly like this, but completely different? Uh, okay. Um, maybe, um, let me just have... Oh, forget it. Talk to one of them. Nikki, you almost had them. <laughs> that was commission impossible. Hey, Nikki, what's up? This feels wrong. It's just not me. What? Something feels wrong? What feels wrong? Hello, Nikki? Talk to me! Huh? Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. Wyatt started his musical career at an early age, when he was younger. <laughs> This can't be happening. <laughs> Sadly, most of the world will never hear the first song Wyatt wrote. But those of you here today will. What? No! It's called I Love You Mommy. Hit it! I'm brushing and flossing. Look both ways when crossing. My room is clean. <laughs> I'm never mean. My homework is done because I uh, love uh... my. <laughs> I don't recall ordering dinner in a floor show. Move along, maggots. And you, sicko. I heard you tried to cover a child in boogers. Uh, I caught the baby, see? But then I sneezed and... Save it. Just know that I am watching you. Question 97. If you had to always wear a hat, or never wear a hat, which would it be? Okay. How is your knowing whether I wear a hat going to help the world? Invalid. No hat! Never wear a hat! Can I go now? Coach is going to kill me. Question 98. Arr! Oh. Bad shopper. Bad. Nikki, customers want a sales girl that's sweet and really pretty. Oh, I know! Pretend you're me! No, never gonna happen. You want to make extra commission for Jonesy or not? Fine, I'll practice being you on the next person who walks through. Remember, you're me. Good luck! Hi, I'm Nikki, and I totally know what you would look great in. I'm not sure these are really me. Don't think, just trust. These are kind of small. Do you have a bigger size? Hello? Just take those pants off and I'll help you out. What? I'll try anything you throw my way, beautiful. Oh, <laughs> you big flirt. Nikki? What's going on? Can you hear me? What do you think of these babies? Oh, sweet, sweet, sweet. <gasps> Nikki's cheating on me? That can't be. Can it? I'm almost finished my next song, Little Mama's Boy Blues. Seriously, we should end this now. You can't. I'm just two songs away from finishing the new demo CD. Ugh. You okay, Jonesy? Everything is sweet, sweet, sweet. Okay. Well, I gotta get to work. Yeah, me too. Jonesy, have you got any ideas on what to do to Wyatt next? Sure! Why don't you just get Nikki to help him out of his pants? Welcome to the khaki barn. Have a khaki day. Hi, Nikki. Hey, what's up? <sighs> Hello, Nikki. Caitlin, flirting is really paying off. This plan is really coming together. I'm so happy for you, Nikki. Plan? What plan? What now? Jonesy, are you happy in your current relationship? Oh, sure. Nikki's hitting on every guy in the mall. Who wouldn't be happy about that? What are you talking about? Hang up your phone. Who was that? Ugh, just some stupid computer questionnaire I started. Jonesy? Did you cut off my call? Are you happy in your current relationship? Ugh, I keep telling you I'm not in a relationship. No, 
Seriously, oh, struggling. Stop. This is too good, dude. Ah, get off! Oh, come on! Please, no! I, I beg you, dude. Are those Wyatt's clothes? Uh huh. Oh, this is gonna be so good. <sighs> okay. You just have to make it to work. You've got clothes there. You can do this. Go! Hey! <laughs> ah! Oh, Marlo! Hey! <laughs> Get in the cart. Your parents are on their way to pick you up. Maybe you should call one of your scumbag friends and get them to bring you some clothes. At least the cell phone fit in there. I'll just call my scumbag friends now. What's up? Hey, Nikki. I think this would win anyone's heart, don't you? No man could resist such a cute dress. Nikki is cheating on me. And in a sundress. <clears throat> don't do this! Nikki, please! Don't worry, Wyatt. You're bound to get a great song out of it. I'm sure your parents will find you to be the belle of the ball. <laughs> okay, Operation Humiliate Wyatt, take 36. Ready. In order to help Wyatt write another good song, I'm going to lure him to the fountain at exactly 1.15, the height of the lunch crowd. Then you push Wyatt into the fountain. People will laugh, Wyatt will be humiliated, band gets great song. Hear you loud and clear, brah. Which one am I again? This. This is you, this blue stick figure, same as the first 35 times. I see. Now, where's my hat? Can I wear my hat when we do this? Okay. Catch you later, brah. Walk a mile in a dress. To know how she feels, to really know pain, you got to wear heels. A woman is a woman and a man is Nikki a... Nikki is cheating on me! What? You're crazy. Not Nikki. That's what I thought, but she keeps bum calling me and I've heard these things. I'm sure it's just a simple misunder... Wait, before you go? Oh, right. Thanks. Shouldn't you be working? Could I ask you the same thing? Good point. Hey, Nikki. Hey, Jen. I almost have the money for Jonesy skates. You can pick them up later. Now, name three cheeses. Why? Because I'm stuck in a questionnaire booth and I can't leave until I answer all the questions. Aren't you supposed to be at work? Nick, three cheeses. Cheddar, brie, and mozzarella. Thanks. I can pick up the skates later today. That sure is a great gift. Hello? When are you going to give it to Jonesy? Mm, this weekend, I guess. And he has no idea? Nah, it's a total surprise. Out with the old and in with the new. <gasps> I wish I could see the look on his face. Oh, he might even cry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can't believe Nikki's really going to dump me. Again. And Caitlin wants to see me cry. I'm not oh. going to let this happen. You hear? I'm gonna uh, find this sweet, uh, sweet, uh, sweet guy uh, and tell him that he can't have Nikki. She's mine. Oh dear. Uh, uh. Plus, she can't dump you. You know why, Jonesy? Do you know why? Hey, Jonesy. Because you're the hottest person in this mall. Oh, <laughs> thanks for noticing. People look up to you. People want to be you. Gosh, that's so nice. Just look at your body. Um. Sexy. No, super sexy. Okay, seriously. No one is more desirable than <gasps> you. 
What about Nikki? Whatever. You're the hottest. Listen, Jonesy, I'm really not comfortable with this, and I'm hanging up now. Goodbye. Jonesy? Jonesy, are you there? Me? Yes, you dummy. Oh, so now you're calling me. What are you doing tonight? Don't know. Why? I mean, why? Can we meet up? We really need to talk. Oh, here it goes. I mean, not tonight. I got a thingy. Actually, this whole weekend looks bad. Bad. Are you okay? Stand here. Bye. Question 680. How many boys have you kissed? Why would you need to know that? Invalid. Forget helping the world. Someone has to help me. Caitlin, I need your help. Jonesy hit on me. What? Who hit on you? Jonesy. Oh, this is bad. I'm on my way. We're not finished yet. You, uh, you don't understand. I have to go. Question 681. Look, my friend needs me, and if you think any of this can help the world, you're mistaken. I do not make mistakes. Yes, you do. What was the first question you asked me? How old are you? Wrong. You asked me my name. How old are you was question two, but you called it question one. I don't. I don't. Mistake. Mistake. I question don't one was really mistake, question two, mistake, and question two mistake, was really question three. Mistake, All of them were mistakes. Mistake, ha! Take that. Mistake, 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 mistake. Daisy, uh. Daisy. Thanks to your little stunt, I've added a new rule to my book. Okay. Rule 45, paragraph 9, subheading, underpants. Anyone caught exposing themselves in the mall is automatically banned for life. Banned for life. You've been warned. Ugh, that Jonesy makes me sick. I know. I mean, am I charming? Yes. Pretty? Of course. But none of that makes it right. You have to say something to Nikki before she gives him these skates. I know. Hello? Okay, Wyatt. Bye. What did Wyatt want? We aren't allowed to strip him anymore. You miss so much when you try to make the world a better place. Then Ron said that I'll get kicked out of the mall for life if I show up in my underwear again. Jude is the only one that doesn't know. So if you see him, tell him. Sure, whatever. You still haven't talked to Nikki, have you? It's worse than I thought, dude. I heard her and Caitlin talking about it. Nikki's gonna dump me this weekend. Whoa. Oh, no. My only hope is finding this new guy and getting him to back off. <laughs> Oh, sweet, sweet, sweet. Wait, I know that voice. What gives you the right to steal my girlfriend? You stay away from my Nikki. <gasps> Who's Nikki? Ow! Jonesy, have you gone mad? This guy? Why him? I never would have cheated on you, Nikki. What? Never would have cheated? Really, Jonesy? Then why did you hit on Caitlyn? What? what? Wait, there's been a mistake! Why would you even say that? Don't play innocent with me. You make me sick, Jonesy. What? Ah! <laughs> That's it! Naked guy! You are out of the mall! For life! <gasps> Oops. <laughs> When Caitlin told me what you said, I should have guessed you were complimenting yourself. And I should have trusted you more, Nikki. I'm sorry I freaked out. It was fun to see you all jealous like that. I should bum call you more often. No, no, no. Everyone hand in your phones. These are going back with a very bad review. Hey, you know that questionnaire booth you got trapped in? It was run by a teen marketing firm. So they were just using me to find out about the latest teen trends? Ooh. I feel so... used. It's got an out-of-order sign on it. What'd you do to it? <laughs> Turns out it was really good at asking questions, just not so great at answering them. Dude, I'm just glad I didn't get you kicked out of the mall. Well, you did get me kicked out. You showed the mall his butt, but I saved it. How'd you swing that? 
the Jonesmeister's got a few tricks up his sleeve. Back when I worked for Ron, I found a videotape of him. Really? What was on it? We promised we would never talk about it. Part of the deal. Aww. Aww. But I never promised not to sing about it. The men's washroom was full. And Ron couldn't wait his turn. 